Okay, um, I want to share with you today a sailor and a duplicate. Um, compare some of the similarities and differences to see if uh, the duplicate might be more, more worth your uh, dollar. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear. And I'm moving the sleeve. Um, goodness. There we go. So we have some paperwork. Um, it is in Japanese because this was a purchase from Amazon Japan. Um, the diagrams, uh, the little illustrations still are true to um, the process of using the pen, just not the language. So, um, I'm assuming this is a warranty card. It does come with two cartridges um, that are black. It does not come with the converter, but I have a converter um, for use in the pen when I do, do ink it up, and it's proprietary. You do have to use Sailor cartridges and Sailor um, converters. So, let's get, clean up a few items. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know why they didn't put all that, all this stuff underneath. Um, in the package, but oh well. So, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, if you are not aware, it is a compact, almost a pocket pen. And let me show you that here with a few other pens of that size. So this is the Pelican, uh, Pelican M400 in white tortoise. This is a Pilot Prera. Very similar in, in size and design. Um, what else might be similar in size is the Pilot uh, Elite, or uh, otherwise known as the E95S. So those are some similar in color and size. I have other pocket pens to compare to, but we won't do that just yet because we do want to get into um, this purchase from Amazon. This actually came with two pens, very similar in design, but we're only gonna look at one. The reason it came with two is it has uh, two different pens with two different nib sizes, um, but we don't need, let's see. This one is extra fine and This one is fine. So um, this order came with two pins together. So, not needing those nib sizes just yet, but um, let me remove this tab. Here we go. Color is very similar. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but this ivory or beige cream color is a matte finish. And the Sailor Pro Gear actually has almost a translucency to it with some gold uh, shimmer glitters uh, all over the resin uh, body and cap. So it's just, um, the resin is, is more beautiful, just first off. Look how similar this design is where it, I'm not sure if you can tell that there's actually a very, just a very small difference. This one on the Jin, what is this, Jin Hao? Did I say? Goodness, yes, the Jin Hao 82. It looks a little smaller than this one. They both have the gold band at the bottom and both about the same length up to the cap. Um, the Sailor and the Jin Hao have similar uh, styles at the top of the the ring and the clip. So this clip on the Sailor is a little more stylish and ornate. It has a different shape, almost like a pelican <laughs> there if you look at the top. Um, and then this one's just uh, straight sides, but it does have a curvature on the side. Very, very similar. Let's look at the finial, if I can get this um, in focus. 
our sailor has the inker. It's a black um, top with the inker in gold, in enclosed in a ring. And the Jin Hao has nothing. It's just a flat um, surface on the top finial. Let's look at the bottom. We already know there's a color difference there, but no decor. All right, and if we look at the cap, there is a single band on the Jin Hao with the inscription of Jin Hao. If I turn this, I'm not sure if you're getting the letters. Jin Hao and no designation of the 82 on that. So this is a Jin Hao 82 and on the band of the sailor, we do have right here, it starts with uh, well, let's see. I don't know where it starts. Let's look. <laughs> so it says Sailor, Japan, um, in 1911. So um, before I open up the gorgeousness, let's look at a weight comparison because we have the, the bodies, um, barrels and caps intact. So I'm not sure. I never tell if the number portion of my scale is receiving the glare in your view because of the way my camera um, holder is set up. This is the Jin Hao. And we're just gonna place it there. 19.3 grams. And just the barrel. And this does have an included um, converter I believe we'll check it out in a moment. 11 grams, just 11.067. And the cap, 8.29. So a total of 19 grams on the Jin Hao. And let's look inside real quick to see what... Okay, it does have an included um, converter, which is a plus because converters can cost um, as much as a pen. <laughs> especially on the, the low end um, pens. So let's look at Sailor, 17 grams. So just two grams lighter, but that could be due to the enclosed converter. I could pop that out and do another measurement. 9.5, nine and a half grams on the barrel nib section and seven and a half on the cap. So again, this was a total of 17. Let me pop out that converter from the Jin Hao, see if that's giving us um, the weight difference. And that is not a screwing converter, it's plastic and it just pops on. So one more time, let's give these guys a, a fair, fair trial here. 17.37 on the Jin Hao and 17.05 on the Sailor. So that's closer. Very, very close in weight. Okay, I'm going to pop. Well, I don't need the converter in there just yet. We know it's included in the Jin Hao. Let's just put it aside. And let's talk about this nib. It's two-tone. It has like the silver in the middle and a gold uh, plated trim along the edge with some design. And this is a fine nib. I'm trying to see. Cannot make out um, the, the script there in the very center. Um, and we'll look at the nib. Okay, I see some discoloration here on the feed, but that's probably due to factory testing where they dip a, a nib and test it. So let's look at the nib on, okay, this is a 14 karat gold nib, by the way. Um, it's a higher end pen. It does say, um, okay, it does have the anchor in the middle. It no longer says 1911. It does say 14 karat and uh, medium fine 
So there is some ornate scroll work. And let's look back at the nib feed. Look at these nibs together. If I can get into a focus for you. Similar size, but um, the shoulder area on the Jin Hao is a lot lower, giving like the neck of the nib um, a shorter area and a longer area to the tip. And you can see the shoulder area on the Sailor appears a lot higher on the nib. So not exact duplicates there. Uh, nib feed, let me move this out of the way because I'm really noticing that the nib feed, these look feather lines behind the nib feed on the Jin Hao. There are uh, quite a few less, maybe only a third of the nib size has the little feathered lines and then on the sailor, they go all the way up to the shoulders. Okay, so that's interesting. And the nib feed on the sailor is clean. So I'm not sure if they did any testing on that, any dip testing prior. Let's look at this side. It's really interesting to compare two pens that are um, supposed to be so similar and to discover the differences. So here we can look at, this is the Jin Hao. Um, the grip section is just a tad longer, maybe a millimeter, two millimeters, than the grip section on the Sailor. Um, we cannot see through the grip section. It is a um, an opaque uh, resin material where the Sailor has a translucent um, resin material and you can see the screw in portion of that. Um, the thread, the threaded section here looks about the same size, very similar. And then from there, if we don't, if we don't include the grip section, the rest of the pin body from the threads all the way down to the end of the finial. Pardon me. Okay, I'm back. So Amazon was bringing me some chairs that we ordered for um, our grandson's uh, baseball game. <laughs> it's almost spring season. Here we go. Um, so anyway, I do want to open up um, these pen bodies and take remove the grip section. I really need my little pen holder that I just ordered and received. Um, so this is a metal grip section here that the plastic um, barrel screws into. Nothing inside, but you cannot eyedropper this pen because you cannot eyedropper against a, a metal surface. And let's look inside the Sailor. This is really a gorgeous pen. Look inside the Sailor. Again, the same thing. So metal. You know what? Let's look at those together. Um, this is actually the second Sailor that I purchased. Um, I ordered one in a medium nib and it came in a fine and so I returned it and the same thing happened again. Um, and that's because I'm ordering from Amazon Japan and that's all that's all that's in the market on this model. So let's look at the threads here. On this opaque um, Jin Hao, the threads are closer to the grip section and on the sailor they are lower the grip section is actually a different size i mean the middle part of the grip section is actually a different size as well so one more um comparison i'm gonna put this back together and you can see the black o-ring there until you get it um tightened I'm gonna put my cap there. All right, one more test I would like to do in comparison for similarities and differences. I would like to use the cap for the Jin Hao and try to cap my sailor. Okay, it did close, but I'm not sure about um, air tightness, whether it would keep, keep your nib feed um, from drying out. 
and let's do the same with the Jin Hao body and the sailor cap. No, the threads won't even, uh, they don't even like each other. <laughs> okay, so um, just as a visual, these pins are very similar. But holding the pin, you can tell the, the resin material here is more substantial. It, it does feel uh, of a higher quality where this just feels like um, a lightweight plastic. So. All right, last we're gonna do a, uh, a dip in ink and writing sample. Um, but let me show you another, one more pen that is very similar in as a visual, and this is the Pilot Prera. Um, very similar in color, very similar in size and design, but not as many similarities as it's not intended to be a duplicate. This Jin Hao 82 is intended to be a duplicate of the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So this Pilot Prera is standing its own beauty and quality. Very much appreciated. All right, let's get some paper here and I'm just going to use the bottled ink this is a Parker um, Quink it's a black ink I'll show you the box I'm just going to use it to dip and test uh, let's go with the sailor first get into the good stuff dip and test I'm glad my ink bottle was tight <laughs> All right, and um, the last time I used this, I realized that this looks like a, a lavender gray um, or light, has a blue steel uh, color in the bottle. Maybe you can see that on the cap, I don't know. If the color shows through the camera. Anyway, a quick dip with our Sailor um, Pro Gear Slim, the gold nib. Nice. I hope that you are in frame and I am not blurred. Sometimes when I write, my hand kind of blurs. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a little closer and knock some of that out. Okay, Sailor. Pro Gear Slim. And I did forget the name of this, so I'll have to look it up on my order, and I can't read the Japanese, so it is a medium fine nib, it's something like Moon, Moon Sky, I'll look it up and put it on the screen, uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Medium Fine, uh, 14 karat, and our ink is... Parker Quink Black. Very little feedback. I'm quite impressed um, because I do know that Sailor or the Japanese nibs tend to be more fine than the European nibs. And so I try not to go too fine. Although I do adore my um, EF on the Pilot Elite and on the Decimo. I love those because I use them on my small grid on the Hobonichis. So let's do some how this ink flow keeps up. And that's due to, I believe, this um, design of this nib feed. That the ink flow is excellent. So we'll, we'll do a comparison in a moment here with the other pen. And so wet, wet, wet when needed. Yeah, nice. Okay, um, let's pull out. Our other pen, which is. The Jin Hao 82. Um, get a quick. Dip. A 
Okay, right away, um, I just dipped in the ink nib, uh, the nib in the ink bottle. Let me do that again to show you for proof. Because our first stroke down did not have ink flowing. Oh, timer on my light went out. Let me reset that real quick. Okay. So this was our first attempt at the J on Jin Hao after a dip in the ink bottle. There we go. Now we have the nib and nib feed saturated. This is the Jin Hao 82. I can tell that the ink on the spine is a little more scratchy than the Sailor. So, um, and I will have to look up the exact color of the body, but I believe it was an ivory. So this pen is uh, more scratchy. It does have more feedback. And one thing I'm noticing, it's also like changing the color of the ink that I'm using. So let me cap that and let's talk about that for a quick minute because that surprises me. All right. So when I used the Sailor, the ink was very dark. This is a um, black ink, the Parker Quink. It is a black ink. I had to cap that before I have an oopsie. And the medium fine put down um, a nice line of ink, not too fine. And it kept up with the speed on my speed test there. But when I went to the Jin Hao, this ink, of course it is a fine nib. I didn't know that. Um, it's making the ink look like a gray on the paper. So, Um, there's not as much uh, spring to the nib. Let's try, I'll just write two-tone nib. And it is a steel nib. But it is um, feeding less ink through the nib feed and the nib. And it's creating the color to be lighter as a gray tone. So if you... Um, want to spend $14.95 for two pens that look like a sailor. Um, you could carry them around. They would perform. You know, they have the included uh, cartridge uh, converters, which is um, a budget plus. Um, I would say these pens being, what, $7.50 a piece with an included converter that was less than what I paid for this converter. Um, these pens, the Jin Hao 82, would be well worth your money. Are they equally compatible with um, the Sailor? Of course they're not on the same same playing field, but um, I would say they're well worth their money. So just depending on what you want, um, order some from Amazon and try it for yourself. Thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. Let's get this guy back in here. Our star and you have a blessed day bye bye